today on Running to Him. God protects, rescues, and rewards us. We'll be reading through the book of Psalms for six months. Today we read Psalm 18, verses 22 through 37, and we will look at and concentrate on verses 31 through 35. Psalm 18, 31 through 35 says, For who is God besides Yahweh, and who is a rock? Only our God. God, he clothes me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer, and he sets me securely on the heights. He trains my hands for war. My arms can be bent to the bow of bronze. You have given me a shield of your salvation. Your right hand upholds me, and your humility exalts me. Well, as we continue with this psalm, David again focuses on who God is. He asks the question, who is God besides Jehovah? What's been said that the overwhelming attribute of the word Jehovah speaks to a promise-keeping, covenant-making God. Jehovah is the name of the God who made the promises to Abraham. This is the name of God who used when, when you see the Davidic covenant. This name of God is proper when showing his overall plan for mankind. And then David reminds us of another of God's characteristics. God is as solid as a rock is solid, and he is the only God in Israel. And this truth brings us to an important point. We only have one God, and this is a triune God, three persons equal in one Godhead. Look how David describes God in these three passages. God clothes David with strength and makes his way perfect. The word perfect can be translated as complete. If we have a relationship with God through Christ, our lives are completed. We do not need any other relationship. God is gracious, and he allows us other relationships, even going back to the Garden of Eden. God states in Genesis, it is not good for man to be alone. God is the creator, and Adam spent time with him alone, and yet God recognized for Adam to be complete, he needed a partner similar to himself. The result is that God is the one who gives us things to complete us. He provides that which we need to be completed in him. Verse 34 is an interesting picture. It's a picture of a warrior holding a bow, paused to let an arrow fly. His arms are tensing so that the muscles appear strong and enlarged. He is a warrior who is trained to focus entirely on that towards which he is aiming. This is the picture that David wants to present. It is God who has created this warrior. And then, in verse 35, David completes this section with a strange statement when he writes, Your humility exalts me. What does he mean? How can God's humility exalt him? Other translations use the word gentleness, and the Septuagint translates it as teaching. These thoughts fit the idea that God gently guides us through life. He provides us with the knowledge that we need for any situation. He gently guides and shows us how to utilize his strength to go through anything that may come up. And through that help, we are exalted because people will see us as repentant and willing to trust God completely. We as believers can be strong, bold, trusting, repentant, and whole in Christ. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.